Show the, show the sound show, guy. Show the sound guy. He's struggling new. with a mask yeah, on. He's from Vegas. Pissed off. Ready to fucking he's, he's got strangle, a Vegas hat on. strangle you George. Uh, I, maybe what we're Why saying still matters, though. Why is he wearing a mask? Because he's really being fucking safe, bro. We got a, another. There's another podcast on YouTube. You may have heard of it called the Full Send Podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know those guys pretty well, right? Yeah. Those I are all buddies. Those, those are all buddies of ours. Love them. Kyle, Steve, all yep. those guys. Um, they had a, a pretty controversial guest on. He's our president. What do you mean he's controversial? <laughs> no, no. Hey, listen. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> president. Saying, he's, not, he's not controversial. You know, I'm just saying. Is he not controversial? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so president. So, 45th right. president of the United States. Right. So, um, did you make that happen? That that episode? Like, were you the one that landed the? Yeah. The guest. Yeah. You got to land us a guest. Yeah, Dana. You know. We need. We need. We need. We need. We need, we need Rogan, man. <laughs> did it upset you when they took it down? Well, that's where yeah. I was. Yeah, it was fucking crazy. It's insane. Why? Why? Why would they do that? Why would they take that? And what was bad about that interview? That so should the, have been taken so, down. So, so the re- the reason. If you look at all the shit that's on the fucking internet, that's what you're gonna take down. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking kidding me. ISIS is just sawing off somebody's head. They're like, no, I no, mean, no, that's fine. <laughs> Leave it up. Take down that Trump podcast. So the dark. reason. So the reason was. Oh, Middle Eastern, okay. The reason was from. YouTube was that it covered a topic which they have been uh, flagging and taking down, which was conversations about uh, election fraud. And and by the way, this is not from me. This is their opinion uh, because those conversations they believe were a contributor to what happened on January six. Right? It's Rogan's number one, and they're number two on Spotify for well, that for that episode. Yeah, got it. Yeah, because because we're the we're the number one podcast in the world, like unequivocally. Yeah. Um, what, who, who do I believe, Dana? Right? I don't know. And where did COVID go? <laughs> Fuck did COVID go? Oh, this podcast is probably going to go down too. Nah. Huh? Gone. <laughs> the tents are gone too. They Fucking packed them up. Gone. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Poof. I, Fucking I, I, nobody. I mean, dude, listen, I'll always sit here and play devil's advocate. Whether or not I agree with you, I'll sit here and play devil's advocate. The, the, the answer that you're going to get is we saw a massive, you know, 95% decrease in, in cases, whatever it was, based Incredible. on, based on, based on, I'm just, listen, I'm just saying. The timing this is, is me. fucking This isn't me. This is huh? me. No, but we, we had it. We had an Omicron surge, which got basically everyone. And what happened was, as opposed to I, I, what I believe is as opposed to uh, efficacy of vaccine, you saw what a lot of people were calling for from the start, which was herd immunity. You saw everybody got it. So everybody fucking got it. So now the, so now people aren't getting it because everybody fucking got it. It's basically like every city's Miami. You know what I'm saying? Like so, so, so it fucking just, everybody got it. And it died with the Omicron. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Listen, like I said, this is That thing me. was fucking I- mutating and, and it was coming through fucking, you know. Omicron killed it all. That's it. It's over. All right, maybe we all got it. Maybe it was poop. The herd oh, got it and fucking that's it. It's over. <laughs> fucking know. Yeah. I Bullshit. Up, I want to bring up a point, a talking point. So this is the discussion. You've made some points. I've made some points. He's sure. Made. Is this misinformation? This is a fucking discussion. Oh, no, no. This is a discussion. I, I, I don't believe it is. I, I think the way that we are handling the discussion, this is what our, our team would say. This is what our, our guy with the J would say. Since we are offering counterpoint to point and discussing it openly with, with both sides being considered. That's how we, America works. A hundred percent. But, but, and I'm sure you can agree with this. There are a lot of shows who don't do a good job of balancing point and counterpoint. And so you end up with these fucking steamroll. I mean, dude, go back to the days of fucking Alex Jones when he was on top of the world with InfoWars. He, he's, uh, but he's a bad I, I'm so bad. Example. You're right. He's an outlier, but you I'm just saying. You couldn't have gone like, <laughs> further. Yo, whose side are you on, Mike? <laughs> I'm offering a counterpoint. And I, you know, like I'm not, tr- I, I will always do this. I'll but always way more Devil's people advocate. than Alex Jones so are getting ripped off the fucking internet. You you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Or getting no, fucking ripped down. Hundred percent. Right. But I just it, meant for I. I sorry. I, I sure, just meant his ability to activate an audience, but, with without a counterpoint. Do but, you understand what I'm but saying? But even nuts, right. you take the nuttiest of the nutty, are entitled to have an opinion in America. Let's go. They can have an opinion. 100%. Yeah. You know what? And you, as a fucking, as another American, can agree with it or not agree with it. I'm a first gen because my parents were going to get killed for having an opinion. Yeah. So that's why that shit means I mean, a lot to me, bro. It's true. So, so, so his- it should mean a lot to everybody. It should mean a lot to everybody. The fact that Trump's podcast with Full Send got taken down 
is fucking disgusting. Yeah. And more importantly, it's scary. That's Very fucking scary. Thing the do, they got a target on their back. Political figure was the 45th president of the fucking Dana, United I'm States. Not, I'm, not de- I'm not denying that. Or You're calling that in- like, no, you keep talking like he's Alex Jones. He's fucking the president of the United States. I understand that. I'm not. That's insane. Good. We, we don't have to see his tweets and we don't have to do this and that. No. Till, till you say something they don't like. Mm. Or until somebody else says something they don't like. That, that this country was built on free speech, man. That's it's just it's 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 our God given right, and you don't have to agree with everybody. And it's actually better when you don't agree because what happens is it starts conversation, it starts debate, and uh, it's just one of the one of the things that have made this such a great country is is that we have that right. When well, when, when when you have a company or corporation or government that can come in and fucking tell you what you can and can't say. It's just, we're, we're in a scary place. I believe that it would be irresponsible to simply say, fuck it, let everyone say everything they want I, 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 on the internet, right? Because we, we, we have the capacity and ability to reach people in ways that were never believed, right? And, mm-hmm. and, and people can really mass message entire audiences of people on grand scale to, to, to what end? Like, my question to you would be, like, is there a line? Like, is there a line? There's not. Not with free speech. Got it. You know? Listen, you, th- there's things like racism, anything to do with hate uh, of other people and, and, and things like that. But as, as, as fucked up as it sounds, even those assholes have the right to a... To, to, to free speech. See, that's in, that's what I'm you know getting what I mean? at. Like, where is there a, is there a point? You know, and also and also. It draws- but I think that is. I think that's a guideline that people, uh, you know, have, have have banned on social media and other things, where everybody can agree. Yes, correct. Way. And so I guess what the conversation ends up coming down to is because it also becomes risky because there is an inherent right for private entities to decision make on their own accord. And so technically speaking, YouTube, Google, Facebook, private orgs run by individuals who can decision make and say, we don't want your business. I can't even imagine the shit that they get on a daily basis from absolute lunatics hitting them up saying, you shouldn't be able to do this, you shouldn't be that. And what happens is you become inundated with this type of shit every day. But at the same time, you have to take a stand and defend your company. I mean, I do it all the time. We went through COVID. Mm-hmm. I went through COVID. Right. You know how much fucking shit I got for going through COVID? It, w- it was insane. Like, nothing I've ever experienced before. The media attacking me every day. Uh, people trying to fuck us at every turn. And, uh, you know, my, my, my belief going through COVID was, again, this is America, man. We don't fucking roll over and run and fucking hide from shit. We take it head on and we, we figure out solutions to problems. And this is a fucking virus. And if it's as bad as they say it is, we're probably all fucking dead anyway. Right? You know where I'm not going to die? Hiding in my fucking house. It's just not me. That's good. never going to be me. And I'm going to get out there and try to fucking keep my employees employed. Keep these guys feeding their families. Keep the fighters fucking working. Honor their contracts. Honor my TV contracts. And we did all of that through COVID. And, and 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 I was the fucking devil for even fucking considering going through COVID. So how, what do you think? I Listen, I'm no, not let's saying have it was staged, fun. but... Let's have some fun, man. No, like, no, like no, no this is where it becomes misinformation. <laughs> no, no we, had, we had Alex Jones. Well, they didn't like that. We yeah, got in trouble your editor's going to be up late tonight. <laughs> He's like, oh, there we got your podcast back. <laughs> it's why? 11 minutes long. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>